Today we are going to see a very important lesson. Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. They almost killed him. They sold Joseph to the Midianite merchants and the merchants sold him as a slave in Egypt. Joseph was falsely accused and put in prison. Joseph went through severe hardships and trials. Now who was responsible for his hardships and problems? Yes, you may say it's all because of his brothers. They are the ones who really started it. My beloved, do you go through difficulties and hardships? And sometimes it's not your fault? And you see it's because of someone else's fault? And you blame that person who really began everything? Then it goes on like a chain and you are the one who will suffer? Do you get mad and angry with the person who began all these things? And ask God to punish that person who created the problems and all these difficulties for you? Do you get really upset and emotional about it? And you, you get so angry. How did Joseph handle this situation? He was nicely living with his family. And his own brothers put him in a pit and tried to kill him. And sold him to the Midianite merchants. And how did Joseph take this? And not only that, he was taken away to a far country, Egypt. And he was, he, he was falsely accused, he was put in prison. Why did Joseph do anything wrong? And how did Joseph handle this situation? But we know what happened when there was a famine in Israel. The brothers, they came to Joseph. And they couldn't recognize Joseph because Joseph looked like an Egyptian and they haven't seen and they thought that Joseph was dead. So when they came to Joseph, we know the story that Joseph showed his identity and his brothers were convicted of their sin. But Joseph said, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Oh, beloved, do you see that God is in control in everything that happens? Remember, Jesus was crucified. And the people who crucified him meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. Yes, when bad things happen in our life, we should not get emotionally angry, upset, we need to understand that God is in control. We haven't seen the end of the chapter of the book yet. We need to understand that God is in control in everything that happens. Not a hair can fall from my head without the knowledge of God. God is in control. And remember, we need to trust in God and trust in His providence and I pray that we will totally trust in God no matter what happens because we know that God is in control. Amen.